What's going on? Just back here with another video. So Jugmeet Singh, as we know, has officially ended the uh, coalition with Justin Trudeau. Uh, even though, interestingly enough, he uh, he still won't call an election. He keeps saying it depends on the, the what kind of votes come up uh, in the House of Commons starting September 16th which is basically just kind of a nice way of him saying, well, uh, I think he's a weak leader and I'm going to pull this stunt to make it look like I'm separating myself from him, but I'm still going to keep propping him up. So I got a little bit of a um, clip of a video here to show you just a few minutes long. Uh, but before I do that, can you please uh, like and subscribe to this channel? It really helps me grow. Plus, also leave your comments, your thoughts, your questions in the comment section as I really enjoy engaging with you guys as well. So let's take a look at this here. Hi, Mr. Singh, Laura Stone, Globe and Mail. I think a lot of Canadians watching this right now might be a bit baffled by the political posturing that's going on. You've propped up the government for two years. Now all of a sudden they're terrible because of some vague notion of corporate greed. And you're refusing to say whether you'll bring down the government at the first opportunity. What is the point of all this, sir? We have been very clear. We accomplished some significant things for Canadians. We got dental care for millions of Canadians. We're able to get the first steps on pharmacare. we are able to get things done that are going to make people's lives better. But it became very clear to me, after having got these important things done, that people need more. And Justin Trudeau is unwilling, does not have the courage, doesn't have the strength, and is too beholden to corporations to stop big corporations from ripping off Canadians, which is driving up the cost of groceries and driving up the cost of rent. So we are now we've ripped up the agreement, and we're going to move into a vote-by-vote -vote basis. So any decision that comes before us will make based on what's in the best interest of Canadians. But let us be clear, this absolutely means an election is more likely. And that election is going to be about an important choice between the cuts of Pierre Polyev, who do Democrats who want to build a better future for you. Yeah, the, the reason that conservatives want to cut certain things is because you liberals overspend on everything in insane amounts so of course they have to cut things they have to undo the mess you've created the mess that jugmeet singh has propped up we're going to go on a vote by vote basis and do what's best for canadians canadians have made it very clear we want an election now by the way it wasn't that long ago probably about eight ten months ago if you look at the polls he was right there with trudeau in terms of getting you know the same amount or more seats than him that was the time to do this and if he did it then, you would see, oh, finally, this guy's learned to stop propping up this insane liberal government. He probably would have gotten a spike in the polls. Then he calls an election and has a very good chance of being the official opposition, which is a huge win for the NDP considering they're in third place. But with this idiot at the helm, they're likely going to be in third or fourth. Second place doesn't seem to be an option for them at all now. Third at best, maybe even fourth. If the Liberals get fourth, they'll get third. But either way, the, the two Liberal parties, and I'm very happy to say this, are going to be third and fourth, very, very likely. Especially considering it's only going to get worse. So, anyway, on to the next question. You, really, you announced that you've ripped up this agreement or cancelled it about five days after Mr. Polyev challenged you to do so. Why did you only come out after the Conservatives put pressure on you, and was it a mistake for you to not do this earlier? Uh, I will never, ever take advice from Pierre Polyev, who wants to destroy our healthcare system, who wants to cut pensions for seniors, who wants to let his corporate buddies rip off Canadians even more. I will never, ever take advice from Pierre Polyev. Clearly, and my team can give you some more details on this, we filmed this video way before that came out. And, and to be honest with you, to be frank with you, Pierre Polyev has been saying to tear up the agreement since two years ago. So no, it has nothing to do with Pierre Polyev at all. It's a silly claim of Pierre Polyev, which he often makes and something that he likes to make up. But, but it is an important choice that's in front of Canadians. Uh, we have ripped up this agreement. We've made this decision. We've gotten things done for Canadians. And now there will be a choice for Canadians to make. What type of country do we want to build? We want to build a country where Pierre Polyev throws fuel on the fire of corporate greed, lets his corporate buddies have free reign to rip you off, to rent evict you, to jack up your rents, to jack up the... His wife's a landlord, by the way. Just saying. Price of your groceries. Or a vision where New Democrats give people hope, where we lower the price of your groceries. 
He also propped up the Trudeau government, which did not lower the price of groceries. Or you lower the cost of your rent. Or we say no to corporate greed that is hurting Canadians, and we say yes to people. That's a choice in front of Canadians, and that's a choice I'm presenting today. So basically what he's saying is, yeah, I'm just going to throw a bunch of insane taxes at rich people and then make them leave. And then um, it's going to be you guys who are on the, the hook for all these taxes. Socialism does not work, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry. It just it just doesn't. I, I don't know what this clown, not to mention, he said that he made this video a while ago. So this was a long term strategic strategic plan for him to drop the video this week. It's not just him that are him that's a moron. His his handlers are morons. His advisors are morons too. Is there anyone left in the NDP who's not a moron? It's it's wild. Hi, Joe Green with the the National Post. <clears throat> um, you've made it clear that the railway uh, stoppage and lockout was a major factor in your decision to end this agreement. Um, my question is, would you have allowed that stoppage to go on indefinitely? And if not, what would you have done differently? On the railway stoppage, it's, an, it's a very important question, and, and it's important to look at what actually went on. You have two large, highly profitable corporations, CN and CCP. All right, CCP, skip this here. Corporation, corporation, corporation. They are the ones, in one case, that has been fighting for. He's always got one thing to blame, does it? It's always corporations, corporations. And I'm going to attack so hard, I'm going to make them leave. That'll be great for our economy, too. Such as. I appreciate the question. I want to be very clear on this point. If any of the programs do not move forward, it is the fault of Justin Trudeau. He has all the tools necessary to move forward. And if he does not move forward on pharmacare, even though it's been passed in Parliament, if he doesn't move to the next phase on dental care, even though all the legislation necessary has been passed, then it is his fault. It will be the Liberals' fault. And if they fail to deliver, I will finish the job when I'm Prime Minister. <laughs> He keep, he keeps saying it when I'm prime minister. Remember when he said that in the House of Commons during a question period and the whole conservative and even some of the liberal liberals caucus was actually laughing out loud. Like it was like a 10 second like a laugh break because like people just couldn't stop laughing at him. What do you mean prime? Like he actually believes, I think that he's actually such a narcissist that even though he's a moron, he thinks that he will be president or sorry, prime minister. He actually thinks that. It'll never happen. He had a chance to be the official opposition and improve his stance, improve his position among the political parties, and he blew it. Okay, yeah, so it looks like they're just doing French questions now. I don't speak French, so we'll just pause it there. But if you actually watched this whole thing, it's about an hour long from uh, CPAC's YouTube channel. You can go and check it out. I was posted uh, earlier today, it looks like. So um, he said, yeah, I've ripped up the agreement about seven times. All he did was basically just get very repetitive. He didn't really answer any questions other than just, oh, corporations, corporations, corporations. And apparently he has an interview with uh, Vashi Kapilos uh, coming up. So I can't wait to have a look at that. And I'm probably going to be making a video about that too i'll drop that tomorrow um but yeah it's just you look at jagmeet singh and he's just, he's just i mean it's either third or fourth place for him so he's either going to bring the party down a notch or he's going to stay at the same level if the ndp has any smart people left in their caucus they need to remove this guy and find someone like jack layton if they had a Jack Layton right now, I think it would be close between him and Pierre Polyev to be the prime minister. They, whoever is it would be the official opposition. Better than what this clown's going to give you, right? I mean, it's, so if you're a supporter of the NDP, you know, you got to kind of almost reform your party here. It, it's just not working and it's never going to work under this guy. And I'm glad because he's a, he's a gold watch wearing socialist. You can never trust a socialist period, but especially not one with a gold watch. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Please, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking about in the comment section. Any comments, questions, uh, any theories you have, uh, let me know. And um, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.